एक्शन साण की आंख वंडरफुल मूवी मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव सीन एंड द बुलेट फायर फ्रॉम द पिस्टल इज बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स आर देयर ए जेवलिंग थ्रोन बाय एथलीट ए बॉम्ब ड्रॉप्ड फ्रॉम ए सर्टन हाइट टू वेन ओवर द एनिमी All these are examples of projectile. Even the monkey jump from the top of the roof is an example of projectile. So the topic, projectile motion. So let us define this. What is mean by a projectile motion? A projectile means a body which moves under the influence of gravity, having been given an initial. velocity okay in order to study this projectile motion we have to make certain assumptions what are those assumptions the assumptions are number 1 we will neglect air resistance we will assume as if there is no air in the medium so air resistance we have neglected we have assumed that the earth has a flat surface and acceleration due to gravity is constant is uniform everywhere throughout the journey of what we call bullet what we call javelin what we call bomb or there is only one word for this projectile so we will assume that acceleration due to gravity is constant Throughout the motion of projectile, आने के लिए हमें उसकी recipe की तो जरूरत होती ही है और recipe में कई मसाले होते हैं If you want to cook a delicious food, you should know the recipe and the ingredient of that food. So, what is the ingredient of this projectile motion? First, I will discuss with you. And the ingredients are is work energy theorem. which we have learned in class 9 work done is equal to change in its kinetic energy and change in its kinetic energy final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy and suppose work done on the object is zero so this equation becomes final kinetic energy is equal to initial kinetic energy look kinetic energy is product of half of the mass and square of the velocity so finally we get if no work is done or if work done is zero final velocity or final speed is equal to the initial speed there is no change in the speed of an object if work done is zero this ingredient will help you to prepare the delicious food projectile object is moving along a straight line in this direction and a force for a particular moment of time is applied at this point naturally there will be the change in the direction of object but since the force is acting right angle to the direction of velocity work done which is equal to the dot product of force and displacement this will be zero therefore there will not be the change in speed of the object come to this diagram here velocity v has been resolved along the horizon and along the vertical direction so horizontal component of velocity is v cos theta and vertical component of velocity is v sin theta what is theta here theta is angle made by the velocity with the horizontal direction motion of projectile can better be understood if we divide the projectile's motion into two categories 
motion along a horizon, horizontal motion and motion along a vertical direction. And you will surprise to know or your mathematics says that these two motions, motion in a horizontal direction and motion in a vertical direction are independent of each other. No way they are depend upon each other. So look, this velocity v, its horizontal component is v cos theta, vertical component is v sin theta. So if you want to study the motion of this object, you study horizontal motion separately, vertical motion separately. They are independent on each other. One point I will tell you here, then I will explain you why this V cos theta does not affect by gravity, horizontal component of projectile does not affect by gravity. Vertical component of projectile gets affected by gravity. Why? Let us see. First understand this gradient. You can be best cook if you know not only ingredient but process of cooking. So come to Again, here a javelin is thrown from point O and it, once thrown it moves under the influence of gravity and javelin, suppose it follows this path. I have drawn the path of the javelin in a plane of blackboard. So this is the example of two dimensional motion. Javelin strike at point A, point A and point B, sorry point O, point O is a point of projection and point A is point on the same horizontal plane. So this distance OA is called range of projectile and the path followed by projectile is called trajectory. Trajectory means path followed by projectile. And range, range means the distance between the point of projection and the point where projectile strike the same horizontal plane. OA, this distance is called range of projectile. Projectile motion is two dimensional motion. So location of projectile at any moment of time can be expressed in terms of its x and y coordinate. Therefore, here I have drawn x-axis OX, y-axis OY. In fact, these arrows representing trajectory of a projectile. Now I am going to show the direction of velocity at the time of projection and we know that this is shown by drawing tangent at the point of projection. O is a point of projection so let us draw tangent at point O and magnitude of initial velocity suppose u and it makes an angle theta with the x-axis. So its x component will be its projection along the x-axis and this is u cos theta and this one is u sin theta. This length is u cos theta and this length is u sin theta. Okay. Projectile moves under the influence of gravity and gravity acts vertically downward. So I am representing here gravity, acceleration due to gravity acting vertically downward. So U cos theta right angle to each other. Therefore, 
no work is done by gravity on this component of velocity naturally this value u cos theta will not change let us see what happens at this point i mark this point as say c so when projectile is at point c and i am interested in finding its velocity at point c so draw tangent at point c and your experience says that when object is thrown from from point o as it goes up its velocity goes on decreasing so that is why i have shown velocity at point c by an arrow of shorter length resolve resolve this velocity into two component horizontal and vertical component children this angle theta here angle with the horizon will change but this magnitude will remain same u cos theta and this is the point this is the point of maximum height at the point of maximum heights the net velocity does not becomes zero it happens when object is thrown vertically upward when object is thrown vertically upward then at the highest point its velocity is zero but here the object is thrown in plane therefore the at the highest point the net velocity will not be zero but vertical component of velocity becomes zero okay or if i ask you to draw the velocity at the highest point you will draw tangent at this point and this tangent is parallel to horizon therefore it has no component in vertical direction entirely in a horizontal direction so this magnitude of this is equal to u cos theta acceleration due to gravity is acting vertically downward horizontal component of velocity they are perpendicular to each other vertical component of velocity an acceleration due to gravity the angle between them is 180 degree or they are in the opposite direction therefore horizontal component of velocity is not affected by gravity but vertical component of velocity affected by gravity so projectile motion to understand projectile motion i divide this motion into two category motion along a vertical direction motion along a horizontal direction so take motion along a vertical direction so what are the terms related in a vertical direction u sin theta vertical component of velocity maximum height attained by the projectile and time it takes to attain this maximum height so vertical component of velocity is represented by this arrow at this point arrow will be shortened and at this point vertical component of velocity will becomes zero i will be using equation of motion so there is acceleration in vertical direction i will make use of this equation of motion v is equal to u plus at you know that u is initial velocity and when i deal with the vertical motion initial vertical velocity is this u sin theta so i will replace u by u sin theta 
and at the point of maximum height vertical component of velocity becomes zero so this is final velocity so at the point of maximum height vertical component of velocity becomes zero a is acceleration due to gravity which is acting downward so i have taken upward direction as positive and downward direction as negative so taking downward direction as negative so that's why at the point of maximum height vertical component of velocity is zero u sin theta is initial vertical component minus gt so t is equal to if you simplify u sin theta by g what is t here t is time to attain maximum height so t is time to attain maximum height so this is called time of ascending and we know that time of ascending is equal to time of descending so the next topic or sorry not topic the next point is the expression for time of flight to attain maximum height the expression for it we have derived t is equal to u sin theta by g time of ascending is equal to time of descending so time of flight time interval between time of projection and time to reach at a point on a same horizontal plane this is time of flight naturally this will be time of ascending plus time of descending t plus t which is 2t so substitute the value of t from here you will get this expression time of flight okay the next expression which i am going to discuss with you is maximum height attained i told you i told you that yes i will be dealing with all the terms related to vertical direction so vertical component of velocity maximum height attained and the time to attain maximum height yan karo expression for maximum height attained so maximum height attained is in a vertical direction therefore i will be using this expression this equation of motion to derive the required expression so what is v here v is final velocity so at the point of maximum height vertical component of velocity becomes zero so therefore zero is square u is u sin theta so minus u sin theta square to acceleration due to gravity we have taken downward acceleration as negative so minus g and what is s s is displacement so here object has displaced in the vertical direction vertical direction is considered as positive therefore h maximum so arrange this expression you will get maximum height attained by the projectile as 
यू स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा बाई टू जी जस्ट डिस्कस मोशन इन हॉरिजेंटल डायरेक्शन फाइंड इंटरेस्टेड इन फाइंडिंग हॉरिजेंटल रेंज आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन फाइंडिंग दिस डिस्टेंस ओ ए यू कॉस्थीटा इज हॉरिजेंटल कॉम्पोनेंट of velocity and this horizontal component of velocity is not affected by gravity so it remains constant so there is no acceleration in horizontal direction therefore we will be making use of this formula speed is equal to distance by time so look horizontal range this is a speed which does not change and time is here nothing but the time of flight tf so u cos theta into expression for time of flight 2u sin theta by g if you rearrange this and if you simplify this you will write u square 2 sin theta by g 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta so this is the required expression for horizontal range u square sin 2 theta by expression for horizontal range u square sin 2 theta by g or this is equal to u square 2 sin theta cos theta by g look at this to picture and think here the object is projected with velocity u at an angle 30 degree same object is projected with velocity u but at an angle 60 degree with the horizontal what is the range of this projectile o a what is the range of this projectile same range o a even though it has been projected at an angle 60 degree so horizontal range remains same how is it possible yes you can try at uh, at uh, the field throw javelin at two different angles 30 degree and 60 degree with the same velocity you will get the same horizontal range how will you prove this mathematically horizontal range is equal to u square sin 2 theta by g or u square 2 sin theta cos theta by g to picture here object is projected with velocity u making an angle 30 degree with horizontal object is projected with velocity u making an angle 60 degree with horizontal and this picture says that horizontal range oa is same in both the cases here okay at first you may not be convinced by this your sense does not agree with this how is it possible okay so let us see what mathematics says so this is i have i have taken a wonderful example suppose 30 degree so calculate the horizontal range for theta is equal to 30 degree you will get this expression root 3 u square by g now if you substitute here theta is equal to 60 degree theta is equal to 60 degree you will get the same expression so mathematically you have proved that yes horizontal range will be same for 30 degree and 60 degree angle of projection and logically how will you think for this for this you just think about the expression for time flight and the expression for 
horizontal range. At one place you have sin theta and at other place you have time of flight into cos theta. Okay, show this. Body projected at an angle 30 degree or 60 degree covers same horizontal range. And mathematically this can be written like this. So body projected at an angle theta 30 degree or 90 minus theta 90 minus 30 60 degree so covers same horizontal range mathematically this has been proved here I will not explain for angle theta you have this expression for angle 90 minus theta again you have the same expression okay so this is all about time of flight maximum height attained by the projectile horizontal range so finally i will say two lines projectile motion can be studied by knowing its horizontal motion separately and vertical motion separately in a horizontal motion there is no acceleration in a vertical motion there is acceleration and use proper equations you will get the required expression